are able with this model to demonstrate climb, cruise, stall, slow flight, a stall recovery, uh, and landing, and a number of other functions of an airplane in flight. So let's see if we can't demonstrate a few of those right now. We're going to start with the controls in a neutral position uh, where the stick is neither too high nor too low, uh, the same way that a pilot would in uh, a normal uh, liftoff situation. The pilot will have his or her hand on the throttle and the stick, and the interplay between pitch and power, between the input of um, uh, the release of the potential energy in the form of thrust uh, into the airspeed of the airplane, and the pitch, the control of the stick in the airplane, which now um, will allow the airplane to uh, lift off or uh, descend um, based on how the kinetic energy is exchanged uh, and turned into potential energy altitude. So let's start by taking off. The throttle will go to a full on position. And as you notice, the airspeed indicator um, will rise. This plane will lift off at 80 knots. Uh, and we're going to climb at 80 knots as well. Um, the throttle, um, is, as most pilots uh, would control an airplane, will be in, at, at full. The stick can come back uh, to a full deflection, but as pilots know, the further back that the stick is pulled, the higher angle of attack in the airplane and the more induced drag on the wing. And this model, this hydraulic simulator, actually accounts for that as well. So our test pilot is not going to pull the stick back too far, or there's a risk of losing uh, airspeed as a result of the induced drag um, that's included or factored into this model. We're going to climb to an altitude of 2,400 feet, which on our third vessel is represented by the graduated scale. And then we're going to go into a cruise mode. Uh, like in an airplane, a cruise is achieved by leveling off at the desired altitude, um, increasing the airspeed to the cruise uh, velocity, and adjusting the throttle accordingly to keep the altitude and the airspeed at the desired uh, levels. So our next mission is to go to a power off stall. And I'll just mention what that is. We're going to reduce the power to zero. We're going to hold the altitude by pulling back on the stick. And eventually, we're going to see that we bleed off airspeed to the point where we stall. Let's do the power off stall and recovery. Pull power off, hold altitude. Our airspeed is dropping. We have a complete loss of kinetic energy stick forward now to pick up airspeed and throttle full. We're going to come back to our flying airspeed and now managing our stick and our throttle, we're going to bring our plane back up to uh, our cruise altitude of 2400. We're going to hit our um, cruise speed of 115 knots and adjust pitch and power to achieve our goal. So we're at our cruise altitude, 2,400 feet, and our cruise airspeed, 115 knots. And now we're going to demonstrate slow flight. And I think the important feature of this model to point out is a valve that's connected to the control stick that's intended to model the behavior of an airplane at a high angle of incidence, a high angle of attack, where the induced drag becomes extreme. And as we hold altitude and back off on our throttle and um, increase our uh, angle of attack to get to an airspeed in slow flight of about 60, we're going to see that in actuality, like in a real airplane, we're going to have to come back in with throttle just to be able to hold that altitude and that airspeed. So are we at 60? Okay. So slow it down by pulling the stick back, get the airplane to 60. 
and you may have to come back in with throttle at a certain point, so not to stall. We don't want to stall the airplane. We want to hold it at 60 and hold our altitude. Hold it at 60 and hold altitude. And how are we doing? Almost there. Okay. Uh, make sure that we have enough power to hold our airspeed, hold our altitude. And is that where we're at right now? Yes. Okay. Can we get it down to 55? That's going to be even more critical. We're going to slow the airplane down to where, where it's within stall speed. So our stall speed in this plane is um, uh, 50. Now if we stall, which is quite possible, we're going to go into a stall recovery. So let's see how our slow flight goes. Are we at 55? Yeah. Okay. So we've got our um, stick back a little bit further than it would normally be. Our throttle open a little bit more than it would normally be because the model accounts for the loss of um, kinetic energy from high induced uh, drag. So we've done slow flight. Why don't we try a power off landing? We're going to come in at um, 80. So get our airspeed up to 80. Drop the nose a little bit. Come forward on the stick. Drop the nose a little bit. Get that airspeed up to 80. Let's cut the power. We're going to do what's called a dead stick or a power off landing. Hold the airspeed at 80 all the way down. We're going to be losing altitude, of course, because the energy, there's no more new energy coming into the system. Um, the throttle has been turned off. We're holding our airspeed at 80. We're dropping in altitude while holding at 80. The nose, uh, or the attitude of the airplane is, is essentially nose down to keep that airspeed up. As long as we have airspeed above our minimum flying speed or our stall speed, we should be okay. As we get closer to the ground, we're going to increase the angle of attack to slow the plane down further. We don't want to get it down to the stall speed until we're just feet above the ground. And our test pilot is going to do that when we get just to within the ground. Pull the stick back. That's a full stall and further back to induce more drag by the, the effect of the wing at a high angle of attack. We're down on the ground and we're at a complete stop. And that really concludes our demonstration today. That's our hydraulic or fluid driven flight simulator. Again, the ability to demonstrate the four forces in action or in play on an airplane in flight and the interrelationship between kinetic energy and potential energy, demonstrating all of the um, major uh, functions of an airplane, climb, cruise, stall, stall recovery, slow flight, landing uh, in the uh, pitch axis. Thanks very much for watching.